This is a super simple, super compact, fully automatic Minecraft sugarcane farm. This is great for your start out survival and or creative world. It only does one sugarcane at a time. You can duplicate this, you can extend it. But if you're just looking to get started and passively over time and for infinite amounts of sugarcane, this is the farm for you. This is great to set up next to any AFK farm. That way you'll just collect some sugarcane. And it's also super easy to use and doesn't take up a lot of materials. So let's get started into making this video. And real quick before we get started, I just want to let you know that the fan mail has started and is continuously ongoing. We are receiving submissions as of right now. If you want to send something in to get open on camera, and then we can do a whole series with that. My P.O. box is on the screen right now. If you want to send something in, feel free. If not, just wait and get ready for the new series. But now let's jump into the video. Here is your material list. So for this project, you will need one hopper, one chest, at least one sugarcane, one observer, one piston, one bucket of water, three trap doors, some glass blocks, and some building blocks. And once you have all that, gather your materials and get ready to start this project. And once you are ready to start this project, find yourself a nice flat area to work in. And as you can see here, we have some space to work with. So I'm going to simply start in this area right here. Your first step is going to be placing a chest anywhere in this flat area like so. So we have one chest. It can be any direction you want as long as we place it down. And then place a hopper facing into the back of the chest like so, making sure that the hopper is facing towards the chest. And that's how we're going to collect all of our items. So it's a pretty simple collection method. Uh, after that, grab a glass block, place one glass block over the chest. I'm going to grab a temporary block, place a temporary block over the hopper, a glass block next to that, and a glass block on the other side, removing the temporary block after you've done that. So you should have one, two, three glass blocks, and then the last side over here should be open. After that, you're going to grab your dirt block, place your dirt block behind the hopper on the same level as the hopper, and then you can grab your trap doors, place a trap door here facing upwards, another trapdoor here facing upwards, and finally another trapdoor here facing upwards. So again, let me recap. We've created this glass containment chamber. We already did the collection system. One grass block behind it, and after that you should have these trapdoors framing in this block here. Um, once you've done that and it's all framed in, if you take a water bucket and you place it in this block, we will have waterlogged the block, and uh, that way the water won't be spilling out. If we open the trap doors, the water shouldn't be able to spill out. So it's perfect. You can have an up or down. I like the way it looks up. You can use any type of trap doors here. But now that we have the water place, we can start to plant our sugar cane. So we're going to take one sugar cane, and we're going to plant it on that grass block like so. Now that we've planted it, we've now created the whole collection system and the uh, growing system using the water to grow the sugar cane. Now we need to create the, the uh, farming system. So we're going to take a temporary block, place it there, place a solid block here, and then we can remove our temporary block. So we should have a temporary block above the water source there without blocking it. After we've done that, you're going to grab your piston. Make sure you're facing the correct direction and place the piston facing towards the block that the sugar cane is on. So you have a piston facing like this. After that, place a temporary block here, a temporary block here, and a temporary block here. And then after that, you're going to grab your observer and place your observer facing towards that temporary block. And then we can remove that block and that block. So you should have something that looks like this our water source, a full block, our piston, our observer, and then this block we're going to keep behind it. So the way this works is the sugarcane will grow to three blocks tall. On the third block, the observer will sense it, send a signal over here. We're going to have to place a redstone dust on here in order to do that. So let's do it real quick. So maybe build up real quick and then place a redstone dust on that, getting rid of this block. So the sugarcane will grow, the observer will sense it, send a signal to the piston, and then the piston will break the sugarcane. And then just to speed up the process, I'll show you. So I'm going to plant two sugarcane after I plant this one. 
As you can see, the piston broke it, but now that we've done that, we need to finish the collection system. That way we're not losing any sugar cane. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my glass blocks, I'm gonna place one on this side and one on this side, and then build it all the way to the top. That way we're not gonna lose any. And then once you've done that, you have completed the collection system. If you want to spice it up, do any different type of blocks, that's entirely up to you. If you want to replace this class with something else, I just like being able to look at it in the end. I think it's more enjoyable. Um, again, this is all preference and up to you. But now that we've done that and we've created the collection system, we're going to grab our sugar cane once more. And to demonstrate this process, I will build back up to the top of the farm. And then once I'm at the top, again, as the sugar cane grows over time, it will break. And you might lose some in this area right here, but that is to be expected. But we definitely are getting some collected in the hopper. This farm is super simple and easy to make. And if you like this farm, please let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know. If you have any questions, feel free to ask or to shout out. And uh, I hope to see some of your submissions in my fan mailbox at the end of this. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Enjoy.